just for a long period of time is my honest answer to you. Right. Ooh, let's get going. Right. Myth of the health hack. Okay, let's let's be honest. I'm gonna <laughs> let's let's be honest like I'm not ever. Uh, I'm going to be honest like I am always when it comes to things all health and fitness related. Um, now. This year has been in particularly challenging, and that means that in terms of, and this is not this is not a judgment call. This is pure facts because it's it's the statistics are everywhere. Um, obesity is on the rise in the UK for lots of clear reasons, lots of uh, lack of activity, etc. This year, um, it's becoming quite a challenging problem, and that means that um, lots of modern living um, has created an outcome. So we're talking about stress, right, which I've talked about a lot talking about sleep which I have talked about like I, I think I've lost sleep talking about sleep I've talked in my sleep about sleep I think to pretty much every single client um people are in physical pain because they've been sat for a long time that means uh well done actually if you're losing the nine pounds sorry end related going back uh, oh I could get inside yes Catkins A7 I've done a live about water loss yes on that and why it gives the perception it's a very effective diet. Yeah, true. However, if you consistently on it, I've also got a best friend uh, who's lost three stone on it. He also eats a lot of carbs at the same time. So, you know, give and take. Uh, <laughs> just having a simple conversation. You just carry on there on Facebook. Me and Instagram lady just getting, having a chat here. Um, physical pain, right? So physical pain is because we've been sat around a lot, not really moving a lot. And that means that uh, hips, hip pain, knee pain, back pain, all the pains, right? Uh, childcare issues, right? Childcare issues are overplaced. They're at home. They're not at home. I don't have a childcare issues. I can't go to work. I can go to work. I can't go to work. Um, so unliable. We say unreliable childcare. Uh, sustaining family relationships right now is quite challenging, right? Uh, shame around food and food behaviours because of all of the above. Um, and reduced activity. Now, that's quite a lot, really. I mean, you know how I am with maths and counting, not reliable myself. However, if I say that's what, one, two, three, four, five, six, so that's seven things right there, and all of them are quite high impact things. Uh, the reality is that each of them, are, well, none of them, none of them have a quick fix, right? If any fix at all in some cases. Um, and a little bit along the same lines I was talking about with uh, this week with some of the, the approaches to dieting, yo-yo dieting, uh, health hacks reality sell a quick fix to all of it and they don't in fact what they do he said who knows where i'm gonna go with this surely Relax. please tell me there's a pill helen no no i'm really sorry there is not there is no quick fix uh, most diet hacks as we call them um in the long run can make fat loss using my specific words not weight loss with water fat loss harder because um it requires uh, elimination of carbs or sugar, uh, kind of grouping food into food groups like protein and fats, uh, for example, uh, and demonising so it can do for some people, not all people, outliers, right? Because you can lose nine pounds on it, fair play, right? Uh, it can um, demonise some food groups. Sorry, it can it can uh, build the perception or oh, I'm just leaning on the keyboard, wondering what's going on there. <laughs> If, if any of my clients just got an email or a message, sorry, <laughs> come, back all the time. come work with me, I'm so much fun. You just get random messages that make no sense. <laughs> Go you. And then I'll send a thumbs up going, yeah. <laughs> uh, where was I? So demonising, um, it's tell people or, or uh, suggest to people in some success or rubbers that there's a right or wrong way of um, eating, right, or not eating. Um, it can create the idea that there's some superfoods, um, that protein, um, there's a win all, uh, needs to be in, in everything to some degree. Like I've talked about protein breads and how consumed by confusion I am by that on a human level. I'm like, I don't know whether that was meant to be a thing. <laughs> like I get this picture of somebody in a factory just injecting protein of some sort into bread. Like, I mean, it probably won't be a person, it'd be a machine. Principally, it kind of... <laughs> how my brain works uh superfoods right the superfood groups that, that, that there's some foods um that are better for you than others right better good better best uh, and that's what kind of the, the the diet hack kind of gives people 
and then I mean, again, I'm not going to, because a lot of my ones this, like, this week have kind of gone in line with each other. Uh, when I talked about the challenge cycle, when we go into um, an initial way of uh, looking at food that's new and refreshing, um, we go into it quite excited, right? We stick to 100%, right? We don't have carbs. Um, we see initial loss. Let's, let's use that principle. See initial loss um, on the scales because we're not eating carbs, for example, um, and that can uh, spare us forward to go, great, we're gonna, I'm going to revel in this short-term success. However, at some point, oh, related to my, my, my seminar tonight, you do want a period if you're a woman. Let's just put that in, <laughs> in captures in case there's any men watching. Um, and so you want some chocolate, you want some carbs. So you are. Um, and depending on someone's mindset when they go into to something that's called like a diet hack, uh, then sometimes that's not going to... Um, is not going to long term be successful. Now, um, I, <laughs> I've, I've, I've got another hacker that there's, there's other health hacks actually to, to consider this is what I'm going to go into. Um, right, and it's kind of this, I, I don't know, this is reiterating some of the things this week, right? I, I'd ultimately, um, I've said this before and I'll say it again, and Kate, I'm sure you've heard this a couple of times now. Um, if, I, if I was to put a row, <laughs> that made music to Kate, a row of spades in my office i mean it's quite a small office it was a small office i'm gonna have a bigger office next year who knows right if i was to put up a row, row, row of spades which i'll be able to let's, let's say i can get 150 spades in my new office <sighs> firstly that'd be exciting and i was to put a different color bow on every single one and that represented um every different way of approaching uh food and nutrition and the ways that it's presented as quick wins or hacks etc um principally it's still a spade a spade's a spade right quote my mother i'm sure something she came out with as well a spade is a spade quite principally i can put a different color bow on it and make it less or more attractive to somebody um or more accessible to them because they're attracted to that particular color um and again as i said at the top actually to to when someone's on instagram that actually the most um consistent way of approaching a hack a way of looking at it is something that can be maintained by somebody for a period of time now does that mean i think honestly that they can do it long term no that's why i have so many spades in my office and not just because i like spades although i do don't have anything against spades personally spades are cool i mean they do a job um however um that's why i have such a range of spades because at some point because of the challenge mentality i might have to say to another client let's discuss another another approach or another situation am i always underneath always going to be looking towards the kind of approach that we have at UFIT. Yes, I'm always going to be looking to to, to present to a client um, a way of progressing with a, a health and, and fitness goal that doesn't require, um, doesn't need, right, need to bring out all the, the, the challenges it does, like the demonising of food groups, the the right or wrong way of eating to eliminate the things that we love because nobody wants to eliminate chocolate or other things that you love i don't know cheese if it's uk no if i said to kate if i said to kate kate you can no longer have cheese i'd be doing it in full body armor if it was in person or ensuring if it was on the phone that i had an exit plan in case you would hunt me down because you know that's that would be uh, saying to somebody or, or saying to Kate, you can't lose any more weight unless you stop eating cheese. That's principally the underlying message to a lot of the, the kind of health hacks when it comes to dieting. Um, really, it's about consistent habits and behaviours um, that can still take you through any of these choices, right? Any three choices still have an underlying uh, habit and behaviour to create a deficit of calories, to maintain a consistent approach with food, uh, to continually address your mindset while you're you're approaching food in a different way and to have a coach like me i just added that one in there it's not true but i just wanted to um and reality is that actually whilst most people perceive that they have to be a hundred percent um the reality is and I've, again i've talked about this before it's probably about 70 percent 70 percent consistent is actually okay it doesn't blow the roof off the house right you still have a little bit of fun without going crazy um and the other thing I want to talk about as well, just briefly as well, is that um, there's also some approaches like training hacks. You know, there's a, there's a there's a fantastic new way of training or this is a new workout. And I mean, over lockdown, I think I've seen it all. But my best one still will always be the hula hooping workout. 
and the mini trampoline workouts. Yeah, I would, I would, I would say for oh skipping ropes. Oh, I talked about skipping ropes a bit, didn't I? The top three. I'm not sure which order. I think it's still the hula hoop. I think it was still the return of the hula hoop. Then it was the skipping rope, and then it was the mini trampoline. Um, always that kind of sold uh, during this year as uh, hacks into health, right, and exercise in the circumstances to find quick wins into, um, you know, managing what was happening. Really, we talked about obesity at the top, right? That's they were they were quick hacks that were sold. And on a literal sense, like skipping rope at thirty pounds, I still I still don't know how to manage that in my head. Um, I'm say I'm speechless. <laughs> I am thirty pounds for skipping rope. I I literally would want that item to make me a cup of coffee in the morning if I was paying that for it on a daily basis. Just <laughs> lasso it in. Um, however, it's it's there's other ways of looking at exercise. Again, yes, it goes back to consistent habits. It goes back to understanding um, that, you know, actually just general movement as we are right now. And it's still still the case. I don't I don't. Most people are still not working at home. Most people are still not leaving their desk at home. Most people are still not going out for walks. Most people are not planning exercise in. So it's actually general movement is the biggest hack you can have right now. That's a sidebar on this. Um, and it's always always I'm going to leave I'm going to leave you with this one. Right. I'm going to leave you this one as I've, I've done before. Um, and I did a live on uh, perfection so far ago, I don't even know. It's probably like episode 100. So 100 episodes ago, I talked about perfection. Um, and and this is part of what um, hacks for, for diet certainly do kind of promote, is that perfectionism in your approach. Otherwise, it's not successful because they are so restrictive. Um and can kind of say promote only one food group as, as the best or good group to eat to lose weight um and actually it's it is just cha it's challenging yourself to chase consistency rather than perfection um it, it is actually a goal to chase consistency or to actively um aim for a goal of consistency is actually where the biggest wins are you ask anybody who's really successfully lost a large amount of weight um and held it off uh, it's not because they've always been perfect or are constantly being perfect right now what they've done is remain consistent where they can right so that's this one done isn't it though right so little recap uh there's a lot going on right now in the world like oh actually just as a, as a side another sidebar do we recall right at the beginning of lockdown how many hacks were being sold for, for exercise there are so many you can't see any more now can you really you know like the online stuff not, oh, I don't say, but, you know, like, have this for free, and it didn't really work out, did it? Quick hacks, sell, right? Sell, because, uh, understandably, uh, people's health has been challenged a lot over this year because of pure lack of ability to move, so stress, sleep, um, physical pain, childcare, relationships with family, loved ones, uh, behaviours with food, hugely reduced activities. Uh, and the idea is that sometimes we want to look for a quick fix because we want a quick fix, right? And the reality is it doesn't exist because if you're looking at a diet hack for sure, um, oh, they often like a good removal of a carb or sugar, right? Or cheese, Kate. No cheese for you ever again. <laughs> I'm just seeing Kate's, yeah, keep digging. Kate's actually going to come at me with a spade. <laughs> you may never eat stolen again, Kate. Good luck with that. Uh, there's no there, I didn't see any thumbs up coming up Kate from that one no more cheese for you my friend no more cheese for you um it kind of demonizes food groups so we're looking at demonizing food groups uh that there's a right or wrong way of approaching food uh that there's a superfood somewhere in the world that how, somehow makes you lose weight um and really again going off from the, the challenge live yesterday there is no quick fix people all right Unfortunately, I went through my spades. I won't go through my spades again. It was a weird analogy. It kind of worked. Kate's still asking me to run. I don't think I can run that fast, Kate, because you come at me quite hard. <laughs> right, and the main thing is, <laughs> the main thing is, is that you're you're chasing consistency and not perfection, right? You're not going to uh, chase, the Kate would chase me down because of the cheese, cheese situation. She would, she would chase me to consistently kill me with a spade. However, um, you're never going to chase down perfection and get it, unfortunately. All right. You, we want to believe that we can. We want to believe there's a quick way of doing it. There is not. 
you're looking to be chasing consistency over perfection to ultimately get what you're looking for. Right. And that's the myth of the health hack. Myth. It's Friday tomorrow, in case anyone didn't know. <laughs> yeah. I'm really worried about who I emailed, by the way. I'm really concerned about who my clients by sitting on a keyboard has just got a hell of a lot of random stuff. I'm going to have to do a lot of backtracking in the next 10 minutes. <laughs> So I'm probably have to leave you to do that. Uh, in the meantime, as always, uh, have a lovely evening and a great weekend if you're not catching me tomorrow. However, I am back tomorrow and I believe it is <gasps> the biggest eight nutritional challenges, which I'm, I'm just going to get rid of them all. Like in one one live, I'm just going to debunk them all. Get rid of them all. Just done. Don't exist anymore. It's going to blow them out of the water. Uh, so if you fancy watching that, I'm around five tomorrow. So yeah, have a great evening, guys. See you later.